past few weeks, uh, we had a huge buying off support lows here in the S&P. We got a little dip Thursday, and it became a very important area. And what happened with that area, it got bought up, which led to this move we're seeing into Friday and into today, where stocks are looking very good. You know, you look at the S&P, uh, strong day last last few days. Um, it was really, you know, the NASDAQ came to play Thursday, uh, Friday, and Monday. And then the small caps, IWM, you know, trying to break a huge macro pattern here. So uh, small caps could break out. That'd be great for, you know, the stocks we like to trade, things like that. So overall, market's looking pretty good. You know, uh, we had a huge dip last week that got bought. It was, it was very important that it got bought for the short-term action. And now we're seeing that short-term action push higher now. Um, and, and so things have been moving really well these last few days. Uh, what you thinking? So the only thing is, I, put, I sent you a chart of the, the biotechs. We had some big news with Biogen today. They had a all-timer drug finally approved. So we saw biotechs breaking out. We saw, you know, BIB up almost 50% intraday. Eli Lilly up almost 13%. So just some really good news there. You tend to see that news tend to follow again. Stocks up 50% in one day, you might see some selling tomorrow, some people taking profits, but when that news comes out and those stocks start to get these big moves like we saw in Biotech today, it's definitely a good reason to, to stick with those winners if you have them.